I enjoyed the ten thing bowling competition, Mum. Yes, Flo, so did I. Good to see the old microphone being used again. What shall we do now? I don't know. I do. Tidy up. Oh, no. See how many we've got of everything and put them all away. Can the passengers help us? Well, if they want to. But I'm not sure there'll be very much help. Yes, they will, Mum. You'll see. See, Dad, the passengers were helpful. Good. Now it's your turn to count the stuff and put it all away. I've given you some boxes. Remember, each box is for putting five things in. OK. Leave it to us, Dad. Good luck. Right. Let's do the bricks first. I've got seven building bricks. That's five. And two left over. I've got six blocks. That's five. And one left over. How are you getting on? I've got seven bricks. And I've got six. Seven and six. How many bricks is that all together? Oh, I forgot we had to add them up. That's what Mum said. There's seven things and six things. Well, that's 13 things. <gasps> Bradley, how did you do that? Uh, I don't know. Bradley's gone brainy. <laughs> no, I... I saw there were two boxes of fives, and two fives makes ten. And there are one, two, three on top. Add three onto the ten. That's thirteen altogether. Wow! Or it might just be luck. Hello! Well, do you think Bradley's lucky? He certainly seems to have found a good way of adding up, didn't he? Let's see what happened. Now, Fizz had seven blocks, didn't she? Which she split into five. So we'll put those in the box. So the five go in the box. The two go on top. Yep. Now, Flo had six bricks. She split those into five, which again, go in the box. And how many's left over? We've got one over there, haven't we? So that goes on top of the box. OK, let's add them up, see what we've got. Two fives, well, five and five is ten. OK, so we know what we've got in the boxes. Let's add the ones on top. Two plus one is three. Now let's add them all together. Ten plus three is thirteen. You see, adding seven and six isn't that hard if you split them up and do it in bits. Two fives and three. That's much easier to add, isn't it? I expect it probably was just luck. Well, let's see if you can do it again. I've got eight Easter eggs here, five in the box, and three on top. And I've got six eggs here, five in the box, and one on top. OK. Eight plus six. Let's all see if we can do it. Well, you heard what Bradley said. Let's see if we can all do it. Let's do these first. Eight eggs, we'll split those into five. One, two, three, four, five. And three go on top. One, two, three. OK, let's try these eggs over here now. Six eggs, we'll split those into five. One, two, three, four, five. Five in the box leaves how many? One. Seems a shame not to eat it, doesn't it? Oh, mind you, can you imagine what that would have done to our sums? Better put it on top. On he goes. OK, let's add them up. Two fives are ten. Add the ones on top. Three and one makes four. You know the rest, don't you? Ten plus four is... Fourteen! It wasn't 
luck after all. No, it's easy like this. Split the bigger numbers up into five and a bit. All right, five and a bit. That's the way they are split. When you're adding six or seven, eight or nine. Oh, yes, they should be split into five and a bit. It's the easy way to add them a bit at a time. I first do the splits into five and a bit. Add five and five, that's easy, that makes ten. And then add up the rest, cause it really is the best. Just split them up and add them together again. Yes, yeah, split them up and add them together again. Right, we've just got time for a quick round of What's That Number? Excellent. It's all very well saying split numbers into five and a bit, but can you do it? If I split six into five and a bit, I'd write it like this. Five plus one. Now what about seven? Seven is five plus two. And eight? Well, eight is five and three. So, here's the question. Nine is five plus what? Remember, we've had six, five plus one. Seven, five plus two. Eight, five plus three. And now nine, five plus four. <laughs> With six, seven, eight, and nine, split them up into five and a bit. Then add them together again. Remember, cardboard box ads. And here they are, the living numbers. Let's watch them split. Six, five and one. Seven, five and two. Eight, five and three. And nine, five and four. Let's add eight and six. Yes, it's a split into five and a bit. Add five and five. Oh, that's easy. It's ten. Add up the rest. Yes. Oh, yes. Split them up and add them together again. How many does eight and six make? Fourteen. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, mate. Right. Here's something for you to try at home. Get together any soft toys or animals you've got and turn them into your very own living numbers. I should teach you for a sum or just make one up for yourself and try and split your living numbers into five. In you go. And a bit. Meow. It's a good way of practicing to be in the number crew. See ya. In you go.